I've got a little surprise for you guys today. I am joined by someone new, and his name is Kurt. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so Kurt's a, uh, a local actor and kind of aficionado from Shrewsbury, should we say? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. well known for my acting around here, I'd say. We're going to be taking a little walk through our hometown of Shrewsbury, and at the moment, we're just at the boathouse. I'm going to walk across the Quarry Bridge. What's the name for this bridge, Kurt? Oh, now you're asking. I actually don't know. Um... It's, an, it's a green bridge. Yeah, the green bridge in Shrewsbury, <laughs> going over into the quarry. Um, and we're going to show you a little tour of Shrewsbury Town. Now, it's New Year's Day as of filming this. So, Happy New Year, Kurt. Happy New Year to you too. <laughs> and um, we're going to show you a little around Shrewsbury Town. A little around the quarry, which is quite a synonymous part of Shrewsbury. Uh, we'll go into the Dingle, which is like the part of Shrewsbury which is all flower-based, yeah, would you say? Yeah, something, something to do with Percy Froes, I think. Yeah. He did a lot of flowers there or something. Okay, all right. You'll get a little bit of information from Kurt today, a little bit of random <laughs> knowledge on, uh, on Shrewsbury. Yeah. So we'll go into the town, we'll have a look around, and then the aim today is to get ourselves some nice lunch. I don't know what we're going to get yet, but depending on uh, what's available on New Year's Day, we'll see what's about, shall we? We'll have a, we'll what, have what? a peruse. We'll, we'll have a peruse. word? word. Peruse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, peruse, that's the word, yeah, yeah. So we'll see you when we're nearer to our first location. So on our way to the Dingle, we're in the quarry. Kurt's got a very interesting fact for you guys um, that's quite surprised me, actually. It's a bit shocking. Uh, but that statue ahead of us... Go on, Kurt. It's called, it's called Hercules, and he used to have a winky. Now, if you look at him now, he hasn't got a winky as in show, on show because people used to break it off and nick it. They used to nick his winky, so now they've just put a leaf there. Right, okay. So he actually had his he, man piece. Hang your name. And people used to... How yeah. did they steal it? How did they... How did they break it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, they would. Drunkards coming through the town at night used to break off the winky. So now right. they just put a leaf there. Okay. That's the number one fact about Shrewsbury Town. <laughs> <laughs> so we're walking up kind of what's your central path in yep. the quarry yep. now? This is the central path of the quarry. And I'll just show you what we're looking at. You've got the bandstand over there to the right. And straight ahead of us, with the kind of brownish hedgerow, um, due to winter, uh, you've got the dingle over that hedgerow. And we're gonna go in there and show you guys what we see. Wow, padlocked. Yeah. It's the first time I've seen this locked in the day. Yeah, that's unusual, that. Should we have a look at a couple of the entrances? Yeah. So, Kurt, tell us a little bit more about yourself, your background, just so, Everyone can I've get always, to know you a little bit. I've always been, uh, well, I've always been in Shrewsbury, born and bred. Um, did a lot of acting, also done acting with you, haven't I? You have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A couple of films. Um, also done a lot for the, the Shrewsbury Flower Show, dressed as a policeman, walking around the town. Yeah. Giving the tourists a bit of um, history, you know, of Shrewsbury. Yeah. People call it Shrewsbury or Shrewsbury. Depending on which side of the river you yeah. live. Yeah. I'm really sorry to say, guys, but behind us, the dingle is closed. Another locked gate. So we're coming towards the main entrance, the synonymous blue gates of the Shrewsbury Quarry. This is where normally you'd buy your tickets when there's functions on, and uh, the quarry is most famous for the Shrewsbury Flower Show, which actually people from all over the country and all over the world come and see the show. So as we were starting to walk into Shrewsbury Town, Kurt asked me, have I ever seen Scrooge's grave? Now, I do know one thing about Scrooge. Was the original film shot here? It was, yes, with C.S. Lewis, I believe, as the main actor. St. Chad's Church. That's an incredible piece of architecture. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and this has turned out to be another fail. But we we can't be, get in. They've got in, so... They've got in. So what's it, what does it say there? Shall I ask them? Yeah. Excuse me? How, how, how did you... How, how do we get in? Oh. Okay. But, the other gate, the other side of the church, yeah. there's a railing missing. Okay. You can the Thank you for the advice Thank and the you. hidden tip. Right, so uh, maybe we should uh, name this video Breaking Into Graveyards. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there's a hidden little gap in a graveyard <laughs> for us to go and see Scrooge's uh, grave. Hmm. Wow. So it's turned into a bit of a random journey already, hasn't <laughs> it? <laughs> Did they get through there? Jeez, go on, Kurt, you first. <laughs> go on. Did you get through here? Yeah. Now, 
Kurt. Kurt. Oh no, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way I'm getting through there, absolutely no way. No, Christmas has been unkind to me. There you are, take that with you. Yeah. Kurt, yeah. go and find the grave. Okay. What am I doing here? You're just pointing it towards Kurt. Now, point it towards me a sec. I apologise, viewers, but you're not going to be able to have any audio here because the microphone's on my chest. But please go ahead, go forth and explore. <laughs> so you just follow me. <laughs> I can't see anything. No, that's all right. Just keep hold, hold it. We'll catch it. Okay. I bet you never thought you'd be doing this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, didn't it? On the, on the film, film yeah, yeah, it did. Mm. Mm. There you go. Brilliant. So you managed to find it. We did, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. You know it was. But you know what? Oh, you might not even see anything on there, what I filmed, because I haven't got it. Because she said too. she couldn't see it. No, no, that's right. Yeah, the screen, the screen does turn itself off. When, um, when it's been on for a while. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but I trust your filmography skills, don't worry. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. And a happy new year, all right? All right, Kurt, why don't, you, why don't you tell us about your adventure then? It was really, uh, I broke into a graveyard and saw um, Scrooge's grave, which obviously you'll see in the film. So I'll just show you now, we're looking up towards Shrewsbury. Whatever that is, I don't actually know what that is. I thought I think it's called something Gates. Oh, the sculpture. Yeah. But we're going to take you through this little narrow passageway, and um, yeah, very inviting. And that'll take us to the square in the centre of Shrewsbury Town. And I'm going to spin the camera just so you can see what we're looking at. It's incredible historic architecture, isn't it? Yeah. And here we are in the square. This is the market hall. This, used this to is be the old market hall. The old market hall. Yeah. The old market hall. And it's still, well, it's actually a cinema, an old cinema at the moment. Yes, it is. Yes, that's it's right. Gone. What's it called? The, what's it called? The market hall cinema. It's just the market hall cinema. Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> we'll go into the centre of the square here, and we'll show you a little 360 view of what we can see around us. This also and that's where we are. This also featured in the film, the Christmas Carol as well. It is. This was the main, the main area, and they did all the shop fronts, hung turkeys and sprayed fake snow. This is called, the alley we're going up, it's called Grope Lane. Called Grope Lane? Yeah. Okay. Is this actually the real name, or is this the Urban Dictionary name? I'll find it for you in a minute. Okay, I'll show you what we're looking at. This is actually called Grope Lane, this is. Oh, wow. And in the old times, this is where the prostitutes used to hang out. Oh, okay. And that's why it's called Grip Lane. I'll show you. So, that, I'm assuming that's not the official name. It is. That's the official name, Grip Lane. Yeah, I'm trying to find the sign for you. Here's a little interesting shot for you guys. Shame it's closed. Do you know what, Kurt? I think we're going to have to do an episode two where everything's open. Yes, I think so. Yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But ahead of us, we've got a Harry Potter fan shop. The Labyrinth brings Harry Potter <coughs> official merchandise to Shrewsbury. I actually didn't know this was here. I have walked past this once, Diagon Alley. And what a great place to put the shop, because if you look around, I know I said this in my last one in Ironbridge, but I think this is more Diagon Alley-esque. Oh, wow, yeah. This grow plane. <laughs> and all the prostitutes used to hang out here, and they used to stand on that balcony as well. Right, okay. And tout. And tout for business. Yeah. Wow. That's why it's called Grope Lane. So coming up towards this church that we haven't quite realised the name of yet. I'm sure, yes, yeah, definitely St Altman's. Definitely. St Altman's, okay. Yeah, well, there you are. I'll just show you what we're looking at. Beautiful stained glass windows. Big tall spire. Yeah, St Altman's Church. And if we can, maybe we can poke our head in, possibly. 
might be able to. Oh, it is open. Now, what are the chances? Do you reckon we're going to be able to film one here or not? Should we go in and just wing it and see yeah, what happens? Yeah. Okay. We can always say stop. Can't yeah, we? of course. Entrance this way. Push hard. Okay. And we are in the church. When do you reckon those stained glass windows are from? They're many, many years old, they are. Well, thank you, St. Altman's Church. You're the one place that's been open today. <laughs> <laughs> so we've come from St. Altman's Church now, and we're now right in smack bang in the centre of Shrewsbury, and uh, looking round at the architecture. <coughs> Is that when you are around Shrewsbury, really look up because to be honest, Kurt, I've lived here all my life, and uh, now up. actually making a mental note to look up is um, it's quite, yeah, quite, quite amazing, really. Yeah, no. So we're going to take a little walk down to the Shrewsbury Castle, and right by the Shrewsbury Castle is the Shrewsbury Library, which has got a massive statue of Charles Darwin, the birthplace of, should I add, is Shrewsbury. Yeah. Um, and as we walk down the street now, I'll just show you what we've got to our right there. And you know, there's one thing I'm quite thankful for. What's that? Is that obviously today being New Year's Day, it's so quiet, all the shops are closed, there's hardly anyone about, and it makes it really easy to vlog. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously this being my third vlog now, it's, um, it's still all very new to me. Yeah. It's still all kind of like, it's like whenever you walk past someone, you want to go quiet. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? You want to go yeah. quiet. Yeah. And then like, they'll, they'll just like stare for a bit longer than they would normally. Yeah, because I think, what, what's he doing? What's, what's he, he doing? doing? Yeah, what's he, he yeah, from? yeah. Um, but for anyone from Shrewsbury, I'm from Shrewsbury, so, you know, this is, this is my hometown. But I suppose in the last 20 odd years that I've been walking around this town, no one notices anyone, no. really. You just walk no. past each other, didn't you? How are you finding your first vlog? Is this your first vlog, Kurt? This is my first one. This is your first yes, vlog? I'm, I'm de-virginalized. <laughs> And, and how are you finding it? I think it's really interesting. Yeah. I'm actually learning stuff as I'm, I'm bringing yeah. memories that I've got in my head out. Back again. It. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So and we've got some more little unique pieces of architecture if I just show you ahead. Yeah, that's really old, that thing at the top. It used to be black and white, but they decided to paint it. Um, purple and white. Yeah, purple and white for some. I think I prefer, well, I don't know, I think the purple looks nice, but traditional would be black and white, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. It but hey-ho, each to their own. Maybe you can tell us what well. you prefer, black and white or purple and white? I reckon that should be black and white. Yes. Comment below, I reckon. Yeah, comment below, yeah. Yeah. In Shrewsbury, they've got so many like alleyways that lead off somewhere. And don't be scared, whenever you come to Shrewsbury, don't be scared to go down an alley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, you know, you might surprise yourself. With That's it. where you find some of the most hidden treats, I think, yep. in Shrewsbury. Definitely. All these little unique shops, little boutique shops. Like this here, this is the town, the town, Shrewsbury Town's um, oldest house. Is it really? Yep. So this is officially Shrewsbury Town's oldest house? Yep. Wow. Look at it, it's beautiful, isn't it? And is it actually still someone's house? Yes, people live there, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's still somebody's house. And what a surprise, Kurt. Oh, no. <laughs> hang on, there might, yeah, but there might be a little door that might. You reckon? Oh, I can see a little gap in that door, but whether it's going to be open or not. <laughs> there is a little door. <clears throat> Go on, Kurt, give it a try. No, well and truly. No, that's... Not getting in. What do you reckon is going to be open today? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might be lucky. -ish. Yeah. Okay, and we are here at the Shrewsbury Library, and I'll spin the camera. And there is the famous statue of Charles Darwin. He normally has a Christmas hat on. Somebody, somebody during the Christmas period put a Christmas hat on him. I don't know where it comes from, but he obviously not got it on anymore. Well, that's a shame. I think he'd, he'd look a bit like Santa, wouldn't he? He would, he would. <laughs> Oh, and the library's closed, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have known this. We should have done. We, 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 <laughs> we should have done. We should have done. We should have done. So where are you thinking we should go? 
Do you know anywhere in particular that might be open? No. <laughs> We're going to cut it there. I'm getting hungry. Are you getting a bit hungry? Yep. yep. And we'll see you when we've found somewhere to have something to eat. Hopefully. We'll see you in a sec. Great success. We have found somewhere to have some lunch. We have. After the best part of 45 minutes of I'd looking say for some. An hour. An hour of I've looking lost for somewhere. I'm still walking around. Yeah. I don't, know if you guys, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can remember, but looking at where we are now, we were actually here, weren't we, about an hour and a half ago? Yeah. We walked walk straight past yeah. it. Looking for somewhere to what? It's yeah. open. So, this is a restaurant. The restaurant's called New Menu. <laughs> it's called, uh, it's called the Bistro Bar and Boutique. Boutique Hotel. Hello. Thank you very much. Just a quick question. You don't mind if we document our experience, do you? No That's all way. Right. It's okay. You can do anything you want. Thank you very much. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. So the full English breakfast, £8.50. Two bacon, two sausages, two fried eggs, beans, black pudding, mushrooms, grilled tomato, hash brown, and toast. I think, do you know what? That's a pretty, that sounds pretty what you good, that. The breakfast. The full English, yeah. I'm going to go with a sandwich. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What sandwich are you going to go for? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go for a minute steak pod with tomato. All right. Well, I'm going for the full English. <laughs> You're going to go for the sandwich. It's actually quite a nice place in here, isn't it? I've never been in here before. Well, I'll just show you a little, um, a little look around. This is the place. Got the bar there. St. Nicholas's Bar and Grill. And this is right on the bank of uh, the castle, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and it's got the mayor's award as well. OK. Show me a bit of that, Kurt. It's the mayor's award for, what's it for? The Recognition of Your Achievements Award enhancing the built heritage in the area. Wow. I've actually, I think that was the same time I got mine, because I got a mayor's award. Did you really? Yeah. Wow, what did yeah. you get it for? For promoting Shrewsbury as a kind and courteous place. Wow. Given by Mayor Beverly Baker, so that must have been after. Okay. Well, I think my mayor's award on its way. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> so if there was any mayors watching. Yeah, if there's a mayor watching, yeah. yeah. I want an award. Vlog award. <laughs> Vlog award, yeah. Well, guys, we've ordered and we are now waiting for the food and I cannot wait because I am starving. I know, you've got to stop saying that. <laughs> I know, I know, yeah, I know. <laughs> Food's coming. Thank you very much. Wow. Lovely. There you go, sir. I'll get you some cuppers. Fantastic. Thank you. Look at that. That is awesome. Let me show you this close up. So this is my full English. So I've got the two sausage, I've got the bacon, the black pudding, the mushrooms, the beans, the hash browns, tomato, two eggs and toast. You've got the steak sandwich. I've got the steak sandwich, chips. Lift up your bread. Look at that. Oh, that, that does look nice. Well, guys, I'll be with you soon. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. That's very nice. And what was your name? My name's JD. JD. Brendan. Nice to meet you. Kurt, nice to meet Thank you. you very much. Wow. wow. Oh, yeah, look. Be that is beautiful. I've got steak under there. Oh, yeah, there, there is definitely steak under there. Don't There's worry. Definitely steak. Yeah, definitely. We've got fries. Wow, fantastic. This is great. Look at that. Look at that full English. And that is £8.50 worth of breakfast. And this is £8.95, but it's. And I'd pay that every day for that. Yeah. One of my pet peeves, whenever going to a cafe, whenever you order anything with butter, the butter's always rock hard. Yes. But here, that is proper, nice and is soft it? spreading butter, yeah. Mm. Right, nice. Good, yeah, yeah. I know he's shaking his head, but he's saying it's good. That is beautiful. Mm. Is that nice? Mm. He's having a mushroom moment. Mm. You can't have a full English without mushrooms, can you? No, definitely not. And those eggs look exactly as I like them as well. There's no real kind of like fancy way of eating this, viewers, so uh, I apologise if I look like um, a bit of a caveman. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but... Is it, it, is it really? It, honestly, that is really nice, yeah. And you've got black pudding there as well. Yeah. You said earlier that you'd like, didn't you? Yeah. You've got to have black pudding and mushrooms with a full English. If you don't have black pudding and mushrooms with a full English, you've just got something with some things on the plate. You need this with it, 100%. Tell us in the comments if, um, if you're a fan of a full English or what would you have in your sandwich? Mm. Yeah, what would you have as a sandwich for yourself? Right, I'm going to try the bacon now. This is probably the most important part of a... Definitely. Full English, bacon? Yeah, definitely. Right. And one thing I've noticed, they've cut most of the fat off. They have, yeah. 
I'll just show you that bacon a bit more close up. Looks lovely. <laughs> That's not a face saying it's awful, by the way. No. That's a face saying it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, that is really nice. Steak, I'll show you that. A steak and the Steak, onions. They've seasoned it with something. <clears throat> I think it's even must a little bit musty. The eggs are perfect. I'll just show you the eggs. Look at that. It's not burnt, is it? It's not burnt. No, it's perfect. It's perfectly gooey. I might even struggle to eat all of this. There's so much here. I wonder if they do a doggy bag. I can't imagine that being very nice in a doggy bag. No. <laughs> I mean, look at that bacon. Look at the grill and char marks on that bacon. That is exactly how bacon should be, isn't it? Mm. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that. Mm. It's one of my favourite meals, that is full English. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I would say that and a nice thick sirloin steak yeah. with sirloin steak, fries, beer battered onion rings, mushrooms, pineapple. peas, no, get the pineapple. Egg? No, and then just with some peppercorn sauce. Mm. Yeah. And that's nice. Usually what, it's much better, what's, what's your name, mate? Name, my name's Emilio. Emilio. I Brendan? Am, I am the head chef here. Unfortunately, I have no clean clothes today. But, <laughs> yeah, that's all right. This is Kurt. Yep. He's doing, his, uh, he's doing his first vlog with me today. Oh, right. Oh, you bloggers, are you? Yeah. Well, as of last week. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You've got to start somewhere, haven't you? You have yeah. indeed. That's and we right. thought we'd... Um, and you know what? You guys have saved the day today because everywhere's closed on New Year's mm -hmm. Day. Well, wow. as you are the chef, let me give you full compliments because yeah. that meal was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that was one of, it, guys, thank you very much. That was one of the best full Englishes I've ever had. Oh, no worries. Well, you should come and try the, the proper food I do. I yeah. specialise in seafood and stuff like that. Okay, brilliant. So, I mean, if you like a bit of seafood or even meat, I mean, yeah. I cook up everything. You can know. you come here in the evening? Oh, yeah, you can. Uh, Friday and Saturdays only, though. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you for introducing yourself. I no, appreciate no, no it. Thank you. thank you, mate. What a lovely guy. <coughs> what a lovely guy. Right, I'm going to finish my orange juice. I'm going to slip that. We're going to tally up the bill, and then we're going to make a move, I think, aren't we? Yep. All right, so we'll see you guys in a sec. Got Thank you. Pay. We've got to pay you first. I'll get Eddie to sort it out. What is the bill, please? What is the bill? And if by any chance you decide to have a look on YouTube at some point in the future, and you type in, uh, you type in Brendan James Vlog. Yeah, can you write that down? Of course I can, yeah. Do you want to write that a minute? Yeah, I'll write that down. Okay. Now this will depend totally entirely on whether this is successful or not. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> if this doesn't take off, and if the video is not successful, you'll never find it in YouTube search. <laughs> all right, well, we'll give it a go, and uh, hopefully but, you but guys yeah. get lucky and yeah. all that. And, and thank you very so much for the experience, for the hospitality, guys. And uh, it's awesome that you're open on New Year's Day. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. See you again. Wow, that was a, a truly positive experience, Kurt. That was, wasn't it? That was very good. That's where we've just been in. Yeah, that is the building where we've just had something to eat. So, unique in every aspect, really. I am, I am absolutely stuffed, I am. <laughs> How I'm gonna find the walk back to uh, the car is gonna be uh, another I'm thing. I'm not giving you a piggyback. <laughs> okay, right. No. <laughs> so guys, a little sign off. Thank you for joining us for Kurt's first ever vlog. Mine. Yep. For my third vlog in uh, our beautiful town of Shrewsbury. And we've shown you a little bit around Shrewview while it's been quiet on New Year's Day. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Someone was running there, so they uh, thought, thought- I it... couldn't do that now. I no, 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 I, I couldn't run now. All the shops have been closed today, so I think it definitely calls for an episode two for us to come back. I, I think so. And show yeah. you guys when it's a little bit more busy and a little bit more kind of vibrant. We can go into a few more places and um, see what Shrewsbury is more all about really. Yeah. So thank you very much for joining us and we will see you in the next video. See you later.